been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, I wanted to talk about something I just picked up for the RV. Now, I just did a video not that long ago about uh, installing a second battery on the RV to help with capacity as far as how long we could go with just, you know, LED lights and running the water pump and running the uh, fan in the bathroom on 12 volt while we're out maybe doing boondocking or staying the night uh, overnight at a Walmart or something like that. And I was concerned about not really being able to tell how much oomph I have in the batteries and whenever I do have it plugged in uh, to a uh, shore power if I'm getting some sort of a charge or anything uh, basically you know how it is uh, there's not very much information you can get from the coach or from the RV from the factory on these old ones so <laughs> I'll show you what you probably have if you have an old RV and that's that little three light special so most of you have something like this uh, this turns on and off the water pump and then this just tests the level of all the tanks you can see it just says battery condition good then you got fair and low now I know if I turned on with a single battery all the lights in this RV that possibly could run off a 12 volt and then turn on the fan high in the bathroom and then turn this overhead fan on for the hood the vented for the stove uh, I could get it to where it would drop to fair and it would just stay at fair so what I wanted to do is find a way to get an idea of what those batteries read so I picked up something inexpensive that will do better than this and doesn't require any installation this is it here it's a Anova battery monitor and it's made for automotive you can see it has a cigarette lighter plug and of course the RV has 12 volt plugs that's available that you can plug a 12 volt TV into again on these older RVs and some of you in the newer ones but this will allow me to plug this into one of those outlets and basically it just checks the charge in the battery when the car's not running basically what the batteries have in them and then when the vehicle's running or in this case when the RV is plugged in it'll show uh, you know the charging system to see if it's getting some sort of a charge and it has an LED readout and you can see good caution problem you know this kind of falls under that category of those three lights over there but it's really inexpensive and this isn't going to do what one of those battery monitor panels will do this won't do what something you know that you hook right to the battery or right to the charging system you know a real readout a real digital readout but it will do more than what those three lights do and it gives you some sort of an idea I mean there's numbers on it that's the best part it's going to give me some idea of what's happening <laughs> now as far as lead acid batteries as a general rule of thumb you should never let the voltage drop I, I tried not to let it drop below 11 but 10 and a half is really the threshold if you let it go below 10 and a half you're going to damage a lead acid battery to the point where it's never going to be as good as it was initially and if you do that a few times you know it's just going to cause it to just fail that much faster it won't hold a charge as long it'll take longer for it to charge I mean there's a lot of issues there but I was concerned about my charging system in this uh, RV because it being so old that maybe it was overcharging the batteries and I don't think that's the case but still I want to make sure that the batteries aren't getting too much charge and when they're full there's no sense in putting a charge to them even if it's a trickle charge if the batteries are full just let them you know turn it off at the switch disconnect the batteries and just let them stay there for a little while and uh, use them possibly it's always good to exercise batteries uh, they're they're made to discharge and recharge uh, of course you know using to the point of abusing them that's something entirely different so let me go ahead and plug this in and see what it looks like all right before we look at the monitor I'm looking at some instructions that come with the packaging and basically this refers to vehicles because it is supposed to be for vehicles mainly but it basically says that in battery mode and this is when it's not plugged in when the RV is not plugged in uh, this is basically the conditions you'll see uh, the the each color light 
So, you know, red is showing uh, it could be 12.0 or lower. Yellow goes from 12.1 to 12.4. And then if you're at 12.6, it's showing, you know, green, considerably green. And as far as whenever it's charging, again, uh, this is something that they're talking about whenever the vehicle's running, but there's lights that are involved there whenever it's actually being charged. So this will be kind of a, a general rule of thumb. There's a battery test in here you're supposed to do with your vehicle uh, as far as the charging system to check it. So let's go ahead and look at the gauge. So you can see it plugs in pretty simple, pretty easy to read. Let me see if I can get you a little bit closer here. And it's showing 12.36 and it shows half on the gauge and it's a yellow light. So could be that it needs a little bit more oomph. I'm not really sure. Before I plug in the RV, I want to try one more thing. You can see the voltage. It says 12.59. It's now reading full, but the light has dropped down. I'm not sure exactly uh, what's going on there. Uh, that's a little deceiving. But I'm going to turn on uh, a single LED inside the RV. And you can see really not a drop there. And I'm getting ready to turn on another LED. Here we go. That did drop. And if you look here, I'll turn on the amplifier for the antenna. And that actually went up, which is odd. Let's go ahead and turn that off. That's, that's odd. I don't know if it's pulling uh, from another battery out there. And I turned on another LED light. Let's go ahead and turn on all the LED lights. Let's see what all the lights and uh, incandescent light. So let's turn on everything. It's gotten awful noisy. I got all the fans on. I got everything going. So the only thing that's not on is the furnace hasn't kicked on, the fan for the furnace. Uh, everything else is turned on. Anything that's powered by the battery is now, uh, well, actually, I lied. Let's go ahead and do one more thing. I got two more lights outside that are incandescent. All right, so now I have everything that runs off a battery in the camper on. <laughs> I mean, everything every light every little thing that possibly could run on 12 volts it is on right now so you can see that it dropped down and it shows it on the gauge this gives me an idea somewhat of draw uh, let me go ahead and uh, shut all this stuff off before I run out of water and uh, I can't get a good battery reading here okay so I turned everything off now now what I'm gonna do is go out and plug the RV in and see how this thing looks. Because right now, it shows that it's in battery mode, that it's not receiving any kind of a charge. And I believe there's going to be a little indicator that shows up over here that kind of looks like a recycle symbol. Uh, basically, two circle arrows uh, that's going to show that it's being charged. So let me go plug that in and let's see how it affects the gauge and if it changes the way that it reads. All right, so you can see now that I've got it plugged in, uh, it did put the recycle symbol up there and took the battery symbol away and of course the voltage went up it shows that it's uh, 13 volts um, still over here it's not showing full bars and I would assume that that graphic must represent what it thinks the batteries are at so what I'll do is leave the batteries plugged in and turned on and we'll go ahead and uh, see if this changes so just remember this number and we'll see what happens while the batteries are plugged in the entire time. All right, so this thing has been sitting for well over 24 hours at this point. And you can see that we're at 13.86 and it kind of stays right about there. Uh, I'll still, uh, you know, have this hooked up during the time that we're camping. Uh, but I think that's probably pretty much close to the way it is. Now, the only thing that concerns me a little bit is the gauge to the right the little bar meter you know only shows the three bars um, I don't know how that translates as far as you know like a cell service or something like that but uh, I would think that that should read full if it thought the batteries were full so either it doesn't think the batteries are full or the batteries aren't full one or the other 
Um, I do have two 12 volt deep cycle batteries on here and one of them's relatively new um, you know about a month old and the other one's about three months old so uh, it's kind of hard to say what's going on there but again we'll let this go uh, for you know a while and if anything changes I'll update you but so far this is a great addition to the RV so if this is something that you want to upgrade on your RV and get rid of those three stupid lights or maybe you have four uh, click the link down below it'll take you to this brand this one it's got great reviews and of course it's coming from Amazon so as far as shipping you'll get it right away I hope this helped out and as always I hope to see you guys out there bye